right, I couldn't choose between my boys to do an nominee. For some of my coworkers know my boys and they come in a group of four. First two people, first two people I had the privilege of teaching in seventh grade. I started out, it started on their sixth grade science teacher, Miss Morrison, told them to take the chair, it's next to my desk every day. As a joke. Well, they got comfy, and now to this day, they yell my name down the hall. So, Jacob Allen. Jacob always has so much energy. <laughs> home in the beginning of last year and the next day he had an apology letter for me. I still have it to this day and I'll have to remind him. He's a happy student majority of the time, tries his hardest and continues to give me and how his grades go. We are always celebrating his test scores uh, as he does well. He comes in the morning and asks for help with math homework. He comes in the afternoon and helps set up a breakdown labs. He can be seen leading a, group, uh, a lab group or jumping in and participating with the lab as well. He's often wants me to grade him. <laughs> um, last year at the end of the day, he would always make everyone laugh as we're waiting for buses. He knows when I'm having a rough day and always make me smile. Jacob always knows that he can come to me with his worries, frustrations, and his feelings. I asked him this year how we're going to get through high school when he won't be able to stop down to my room. Jacob said, well, I'll just text you. <laughs> I can't wait to hear about all your successes in high school and the text messages and updates on how you continue to go. come to his baseball game and chat with his parents. The majority of the time I showed up to cheer him on and chat with his parents about all the good things. He, would, he always would try to make a deal with me about his work. He wanted to tell me a story and then he would He loved doing all the hands-on labs, especially when we learned about reflexes. Howard was always coming to have lunch with me. He continues to yell my name down the hallway, but without seeing him, but just now. He, will always, he always has a story for me. It tells me how he got the latest baseball card or how he came down the corner for screen training. He has tried hard this year and it shows. I know he's going to continue to be great and I hope he just remembers me when he makes it for me. You two should know by now, right? <laughs> All right, the next two have been taller than me ever since I met them in sixth grade. Mind you, I have like <laughs> they are respectful, kind, goofy. They are the originals to still call me by my maiden name, Miss McHale. I enjoy watching them play hockey. These two pressured me to be athletic, and the reason why our volleyball team is called Rico's Raptors. Evan Kissing. <laughs> our relationship started up rough in sixth grade. Him and I were both strong willed, and he definitely didn't mind testing the waters. I didn't Help. It didn't help that he towered over me. It wasn't until the beginning of seventh grade when I lived with them as a, as a surprise to all of us that our bond grew stronger. Evan was always there to lighten the mood and talk about football or ask if I heard the latest songs. Evan continues to visit me every day, checks in, catches me up on the latest football stats. I truly can't wait to see what Evan continues to do in the bright future, and I can only hope he continues to stay in touch. Tell me how, to, how he made pancakes for breakfast, how his latest injury occurred, or how he was having a rough day. He thinks nothing of coming behind my lap desk, sitting, sitting, taking a chair and just sitting. 
There are times when he came during my lunch to do math and science work together, and of course, not without one or two stories in between each class. I still remember the first day of school last year. I was introducing myself to my last period. I always tell my students, respect me, I'll respect you. And I would always stand up. Without hesitation, Ernie stood up and said, yeah, Miss McHale stood up for me in sixth grade. And, that, and she means it. I went across her. Through all this time, Bertie has come to my come to be my school son, or as he likes to say, your baby. I truly can't wait to see Bertie in the future working on boats, doing construction, or riding his bike through town. I always truly make my day, and I'm not sure how we will get through it next year. These boys have made a big difference in my life, and I hope it does. 